Street Light Wetlands. That's where we're going. Uh, I am back again. Is that wake up? Disconnected, that's amazing. Okay, connected back. And, uh, okay, I guess we can finally wake up and save. Press 9. I like the way to wake up, it is the noise. Okay. Let's take a look outside. Oh, we can actually leave the room. And leave the apartment. Oh. This is a box. There is a cat leaving it sleeping in there, probably. Hmm. Okay. Looks pretty normal apartment. Appar apartment to me. Oh, the buildings. The paint buildings. Let's get outside. Oh. It's a snowy. Phone cabin. Let's take a little walk. Hmm. Sounds pretty normal. Hmm. Walking on the streets. Okay, little horses. gonna be a very long walk <laughs> over this beautiful snowy city and the fucking microphone lagging of hell sorry about that there we go I probably would need to use my phone to edit this audio or something I don't know I will try my best Okay. Taking a very huge walk. Hmm. Interesting. Very funny. Very fun. And very nice. Oh. That's a cool place. But this game reminds me of Lane Experiment. I don't know. It just gave me that kind of vibe. All the Yuminiki fan games give me that vibe, honestly. Especially Yuke. Some industrial uh, areas, trash place, uh, more industrial areas, more city, very gothic city. This looks so fucking 
shopping downtown. It's really fun, the fact that she can walk. She's different from the other dreamers. She can walk downtown. But she doesn't do it because she, she has cool stuff in her apartment. That's the reason she doesn't leave so often, so understandable. Okay, that was a huge walking. Not gonna lie to you. Long ass walk, and we are back to the place we left. We made a snowman that has no face. Let's go back inside. The same thing. Now let's go up. We took a long walking section. Now let's go back. Look at the kitty. Pat the candy ass. Okay, we're back to apartment. And we're entering a room. Okay, time to say goodbye to the recording.